Hi guys, it's Lars with My850.com. I'm asked quite often by buyers and sellers to comment on the market and how it's going. Buyers specifically want to know how far down can I negotiate a sales price. Sellers want to know how strong should I hold on to my list price before I consider dropping it. I'm going to give you a little bit of market insight today based on my opinion and my opinion only. I've been doing this for quite a while and I keep track of real estate data in our local area every single day. Plus I have access to some next level information through our local MLS Bureau. I'm going to let you take a look at my screen and I'm going to talk you through some calculations. These calculations will help you arrive at your opinion on how low you can negotiate and where the market might be heading. If you're an agent watching this, pay close attention. This is valuable information and this is information that can help you understand where the market's going and in turn help your clients better. All right, let's start with the active listings. Um, this is a summary of month over month and a year to date. Uh, I just pulled this in August and here's the summary. So August 2017 versus August 2016, the inventory on a month over month scenario is down 19.1%. That is a significant number. However, not cause for panic because in a year to date scenario, it's only down 3.7%. If we look just at this number, some could say this is a good sign for sellers, and it is. However, there's a much more significant number for us to pay attention to, and that's called the absorption rate. In plain English, the absorption rate is the percentage of active listings that are being absorbed or purchased by buyers. And as we can see from this graph, it's been going steadily downward in the last 12 months. In fact, if we look at it in closer detail, on a month-over-month -month scenario, the absorption rate has dropped by 27.56%, and on a year-to-date, 22.06%. So that is a significant number. So if we summarize, year-to-date inventory is down 3.7%. That's a good sign for sellers. However, the not-so-good sign is the absorption rate has dropped 22.6% on a year-to-date basis. And the things that can cause a lower absorption rate, um, it's things like climbing interest rates, seasonal fluctuations, or job numbers. So keep a close eye on absorption rate if you're a seller and trying to decide where and how you're gonna price your property. And if you're a buyer, average negotiation room right now is a four to five percent based on last month's numbers. Thanks for watching this far. So my opinion on the market is if you're a seller, be sure to watch your pricing based on the absorption rate. The market may be slowing down just a little bit, so stay ahead of the market by making your price reductions early. If you're a buyer, we can help you negotiate the very best deal on a transaction, but you're probably not going to get the 10 or 20 percent discount that many buyers see on TV. That's two, three years ago. Today's market is much tighter for buyers. If you are buying, check out my850.com We've designed those sites specifically so that you can find your property here on the Emerald Coast. Finally, if you're a real estate agent and you'd like more information about what we do at my850.com and World Impact Real Estate, touch base with us. We love answering questions and we'd love to talk to you about joining our team. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm Lars Rygard, founder of my850.com. Have a great day.